Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well on this uh, May 29th, uh, Friday. Uh, I do some. I apologize. We were having some technical difficulties. So um, thank you for bearing with me. I'm Cynthia Sharp, and this meditation is brought to you by Life from Health in coordination with the Parkinson's Association of Southwest Florida. So I thank those and I thank you for attending. Um, if you have attended before, you know the whole routine. Please watch your breath. And for those of you who are new, how to breathe. We're gonna discuss that. Breath is so important to actually help center and reground and feel much more present within your body. So we're going to do a more circular breath, which means you're going to go in through your nose, out through your mouth, and you're going to extend your exhale from your inhale. So if you inhale for four, exhale for six, you can. And um, make sure that your breath is when you're having your thoughts is the reason why you come back and you calm yourself. So really making sure that you are being effective and make, um, I apologize, this is the second time I've had some technical difficulties. So um, I truly do apologize that this is happening. Nothing's changed within our Wi-Fi. Um, but for some reason, this is what's happening. So thank you. If we cut out, do know that um, we will come back in and I will continue going from wherever um, I am at that time because I, I may actually have my eyes closed and may not see that we have lost connection again. But thank you again for those of you who are attending. Um, remember, do be mindful of your breath and also mindful of your thoughts. If there are thoughts that are coming in today, if there are noises like um, a hedge trimmer that are annoying you or birds chirping, you know, it is truly where you put your mind's focus that um, helps or exacerbates the situation with anything and especially with meditation. So really kind of hone in on my voice and what I'm saying so that you can, can be, can get out of your head and be present. Um, and it takes practice. So if you're not good at it at first, just know that that's okay. You will get better the more that you do it. And my favorite phrase is, not practice makes perfect, but practice makes permanent. So remember, the more you do it, the more permanent it's going to become in your head. Um, all right, so let's just kind of take a moment, close our eyes, center ourselves within our body, and be. And, our, and kind of know where any pain, any anything that just feels off or out of balance is, so that during the meditation we can ask to help ease that discomfort or that pain that we are experiencing. And if we've been a little emotional or highly anxious this week, um, we can also help balance that. So um, thank you for taking a deep breath and helping me along as well as I always enjoy doing these meditations uh, with you. Take in another deep breath. And your third one.
a meditation doesn't have to be done in a certain position like sitting up straight you can actually do it lying down um, do it in a most comfortable position for you and allow your thoughts to free themselves as you breathe in and in the next breath I want you to envision a white light and that as you breathe in it goes in to right where your ribs and um, right where your stomach is your ribs come together your solar plexus take in a deep breath and as you fill your solar plexus with white light feel as it travels and resides into your heart And notice that it, it will get easier and easier to go ahead and breathe. And notice that white light start to expand from your heart area as your heart pumps that white light into your lungs and from your lungs it enters each and every cell because of oxygenation and circulates throughout your entire body with each and every breath that you take Notice any discomfort that is coming up and let it go with your breath. Literally breathe into it. Whether it's at your throat, <clears throat> whether it's at your belly. whether it's at your knees or your buttocks and your gluteus meeting relaxation opening up your hip muscles so that everything else can fall into place. Notice your sense of calmness that is overwhelming you in a most positive way. It saturates you, centers you, 
with each breath and relaxes each and every part of your body. you to breathe in love love for yourself unconditional love any thoughts regarding unconditional love like how it helps with patience temperance tolerance acceptance Compassion. Simple recognition of where you're at. And an acknowledgement of where you want to be. Re-establishing comfort of where you are, how you are. Breathe in and allow this to truly saturate every part of your body. Feel it engulf you, this love, unconditional love, with understanding. the lightness that really resides within you. And remember that as noises come up or distractions come up, just like in any everyday situation, it is up to you where you choose to focus. breath and release
release all that tension. Release the unforgiven. Release your anxiety. Release the want of control. Enjoying you, recognizing your own power of letting the little things dissipate. Letting the worries that resided within yourself and your heart be released in your breath. Letting the tension of that which is out of your control be released. Thank yourself at this very moment for taking the time for making space for yourself and letting go and releasing and choosing to be. Feel your heart. Feel it expand with each and every breath. any panic, anxiety, tension, stress, and breathe in love, unconditional love to your heart. Breathe in relaxation. Breathe in peace, tranquility, joy. Serenity. Fun.
and notice that as your heart expands, the rest of you feels as if it is expanding too. Recirculating the love, the tranquility, the ease, the fun, the joy throughout your entire body. each breath, notice your choice of thoughts, of choosing to let go that which does not make you joyful. does not calm you and soothe you. And notice you creating more thoughts that do soothe you. Creating more joy. More ease. greater tranquility within you. Scan your body and notice any tensions that have yet to be released. Take in a deep breath and release and breathe in to that tension, releasing it.
feel your centeredness. The calmness that is ensuing. as it saturates you. And you feel greater at ease. in your family, whether it's the family that you live with, or your extended family, or both, and ask them to join you in this meditation, allowing them and you to enjoy your peace, your ease, your calm. Notice that as you breathe in with each breath that you get calmer You feel more patient, more tranquil. You share these wonderful emotions, this wonderful stability with those that you love. this tranquility to saturate not just you but them and notice that as you breathe that peace that ease that calm it fills them exponentially and recirculates back to you
notice that this expands and it's not a recirculation of energy just between you and your loved one but it's back and forth between them to each other and to you and it creates gentleness and understanding to hear and to listen to each other with great respect. Like each heart is talking to the other. creating more love, unconditional love, Notice that through this, walls have been deconstructed and there is an openness that has happened and has been provided and unfolded between you and your loved ones. Now, I encourage you to invite either your neighbors or your friends, those you would like to share this energy with. <clears throat> known or unknown to you as well. What I mean is by people you may have seen in the news who are suffering and who would need a heart of love could be embraced with compassion.
can recognize their pain, their suffering. their sense of weakness. And as you breathe in, and out, you send them strength, resilience, understanding and the acknowledgement that we have all at one time felt weak vulnerable and that is where our strength our courage is manifested from. And recognize that as you fill these individuals with the compassion, with your understanding, with your acknowledgement of your own vulnerabilities and theirs, you each become stronger become more resilient, find more joy together and in conjunction As you do this, more and more, the sense becomes stronger and hope resides in each of you.
your friends will feel much more united with you. Your family as well. And if you've extended yourself to the people unknown, there is a greater sense of community. yourself to feel your greatest expanse.
I would like for you to call in a gift that you would enjoy receiving. It does not have to be tangible. It can be very spiritual, very emotional, but a gift nonetheless. And I want you to see yourself receiving it. And feel how wondrous receiving that gift is. Feel how luminous you feel. Receiving this gift in all its glory and wonder. the ease, the joy, the space, your energy that expands upon receiving this gift. Fill yourself with that phosphorescent light. And surround yourself with it. See it radiate all around you, sealing in all that we have created within this session. Thank you, love.
loved ones, your friends, and those that have participated with you in this meditation. And especially thank your friends, yourself, for being here, for taking the time to meditate today. Mm. When you are ready, you may open your eyes and enjoy your renewedness. your lightness, your ease, your comfort. I thank you for joining me. I will be doing a talk on anxiety, anxiety reduction on my channel at Synchronicity Biofeedback and Healing Energy Work at 10 a.m. And if you have enjoyed this meditation, I hope you share it. And we will see you next Friday at 9 a.m. May peace be with you and be filled in your heart so that you may give anyone and everyone you come into contact with following week. And I want to say thank you to Life Home Health for sponsoring and Parkinson's Association of Southwest Florida for sharing this with all your Parkinsonians. It is truly wonderful to know the benefits and to receive emails of confirmation of tremors dissipating during meditation. Enjoy your weekend, and thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day.